Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you five colorful hanging infographic option slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the option one with the icons and the text. Then this is the step two, oh, the step three, and again the step four and step five comes from right side. And I have made one more slide. I can see, you can see here, all this is completely, it's from this end to this end. And if you want, you can add more options also. Again, this is the first step. This is the second, third, fourth, and fifth. So let's see how to create this beautiful infographic slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change to gradient fill then go to insert shapes under rectangles select rectangles rounded corners draw this much size and make it fully curved center align and reduce the size a little bit and right mouse click go to format shape and fill i'm going to use some maybe let me just use a, use a white color and then go to effects shadows under presets go to inner and select inside center and increase the blur size and shape outline make it no outline then go to insert again shapes select the rounded corner rectangle again and draw in the center a smaller one this also you make it fully curved shape outline make it no outline and give some dark color let me just reduce further and center align and go to effects shadows and select you can select maybe this one which is inside top left so this our design is ready so let's design the or draw the options i'm going to insert a oval shape for that go to insert shapes and select an oval shape and hold the shift key while dragging the shape and here I'll make it not 2.8 I'll make it 2.4 width and height the same and I'm going to say a gradient fill and gradient fill I'm going to use two stops and here I'm going to select two different colors. Maybe let me just select a first this green. And I'm going to select maybe this screen or green. And type, make it linear. And we can select maybe this one. And increase the transparency level. I need some transparency here so let me make it maybe 20 and this also I'll make it maybe 25 and shape outline I'm going to select the gradient making it two stops one stop I'll make it green color the other one I will make it white and fully transparent. If you want, you can change the angle of the line also. And then I'm going to insert one more small oval shape. I'm going to make a hole in this one. Make very small and oval shape and zoom it and put it exactly in the center maybe here i think this is okay 
then select the larger or the bigger one and then select the smaller oval shape go to format merge shape and just say subtract so you got this shape here now you can press ctrl d also you can duplicate and start changing the colors according to your requirement so here i'm going to use maybe some orange with yellow maybe combination let's see how it looks and line color also i'm going to change to orange and if you want you can change the angle also of the line all right so i'm going to add five more options or three more now let me just make uh, this more transparent also i will make it maybe 50 percent and this one i'll make it say 30 percent and this also i'll make it 50 percent and this one i'll make it 30 percent and then select this and go to effects and just say reflection and you can set any reflection here if you want the size to be reduced you can reduce the size if you want in, you reduce the transparency also you can reduce it so let me just reduce a little bit i think this is okay press ctrl d i'm going to add as i said one two three four and five and i'm going to place one at the back two at the back and three at the front so this and this will go back i'll select this format send this to back and then start changing the color i'll use maybe some purple and some light purple then for this i'm going to use maybe blue i'll use some light blue and here i'm going to use maybe this color all right so you can arrange in a way where it looks like two or three in the front and two at the back so when this is done i'm going to add one more smaller oval shape which is hanging with a thread so i'm going to insert shapes oval shape draw the smaller one here and shape fill make it white shape outline make it no outline and you can give some shadow effect here maybe this one and then press ctrl d reduce the size and i'm going to select this go to home format painter and click on this one you can reduce the size a little bit here and place it in the center and make sure to remove the transparency or reflection here we don't want any reflection and select both of these format align center and align middle and you can press ctrl g to group it also so this is one ctrl d i'll make it here we can arrange later on three four and five let me just ungroup this and i'm going to use again the format painter
and I'm going to again remove the reflection and then you can group it back select the option and press ctrl G so I'm going to insert again shapes and I'm going to draw a thread which is going from the center I have to bring it in the center also this one and make this as a black color zoom in if you want you can increase the weight maybe this much and then go to insert shapes select this one which is the curve double click give the same black outline select this again press ctrl d and rotate it and put it here and send this to back you can see this one here and if you want you can add some more smaller lines here kind of a Let me just add the two, three here so that it should look like a knot kind of thing. All right, so if you see here, it looks something like this. Then again, you have to start arranging now press ctrl D and I'm going to put it here and then you have to add the knot so this one let me just put it this here one two three four and five and if you want uh, equal spaces then just say distribute horizontally so it will have the equal spaces so let me just put this straight and this one you can see the lines there I want this to be here and this to be yes okay and press ctrl D and put one here the other end in the, this one and the last thread all right now we have to just add this one the knot which is here I will just copy it here all these things I will select control D and bring it here this should be here only control G also you can make it bring it here and ungroup this And select only this and send to back see like this so just copy the same this one to control D and control G and here just copy it everywhere all the five options so I have added the thread and the knot to all the options and then I'm going to select each option and press ctrl G to group it then select the second option press ctrl G to group the third option group it fourth option I'm going to group and the fifth option 
and before grouping it's better to add some text and icons also so let me just insert some icons if you have office 365 then you can directly insert the icons or you can go to the nonproject.com and insert the icons so i'm just going to select this first icon second third fourth and say maybe this one fifth and you can change the color to white or you can use simple colors also and then you can add your text here I'll center a line, make this as white. Control D to group it. And let me group this again. It's better to add the text and then group it rather than doing the jo jobs two times. and the last option group it so you can see uh, our design is almost ready so just we need to do the animation now to add the animation close the format background go to animations enable the animation pane select this one and just say fly in fly in you can say from left also and double click you can insert you can increase the bounce end and just say okay so it will be something like this or if you want make it somewhat slower may maybe faster not not the very fast just make it fast or you can select medium also let me just select medium all right then I'll select this using animation painter. I'll copy the animations to all other options. Double click this one. So I want here. Then I want this to be here. This two also the last one. That's it. And then these two animations I want to start from right. So let's see how the animation looks here. So you can see this is the first option, then the second, the third option, fourth option, and fifth options. So that's it from me, friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, PowerPoint University. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.